applause is cheap, virtuosity is very expensive. Um, I know you, you didn't expect this, but you know, Chopin, and there's not enough Chopin in our program, and I want to get in a lot, but Chopin, uh, in his funeral march sonata, you know, the, can you start from the, 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 the funeral march? The, we all know that, every mafia member is buried to it. <laughs> in every movie. <laughs> but in the last, the last movement, his love of Bach, for he's the only man of his time that actually knew Bach so well that he had memorized physically all of the preludes and fugues of the well-tempered clavier. And uh, he, you'll hear the Bach influence, I don't know if you can do this, but play the last movement after the funeral march, which they call the wind over the graves, the right hand alone, because this is a unison. This piece is so hard, I'm sure even for you, Barbara. And listen, listen to this right hand, le, uh, right hand alone. Play it, it's so, just play it slowly. Listen, very gruesome, very harmonically unbelievable. Those are all new harmonies. It's a Schoenberg already. If you play it slow. Now, play the left hand. Now, what this is so incredible about and why pianists and the greatest performance is Rachmaninoff, by the way. Um, sorry. Uh, uh, play the left hand and you will see that it's the same notes exactly. Try, do that. It's very beautiful slow. All Chopin left hands are beautiful slow. All right, now, I don't know if you can do it, but go as far as you can, because it's really interesting to uh, see the fact that this part of virtuosity, the left hand had never been developed. I mean, Haydn did this, you know. I mean, that was just like, you know, no concept of virtuosity yet. Now, uh, play this together. Slow. Do it fast. <laughs> See where it goes. Great. <laughs> 